Hey guys, Bree in here on Morrow Hill and we have yet another big project going on here. Let me show y'all, hold on. I'm getting deliveries from both Lowe's and Home Depot today so I could get everything by the time I needed it. Lowe's is first. Not all of that is, all of that's not mine, okay? The sheetrock and stuff, that's not mine. Just that huge pallet that holds 60 bags of black mulch. That's mine. And what are the odds that Home Depot is on the way right now too? Home Depot is on the way right now. So both my deliveries from two different places are coming at the same time. That is so cool. Here he goes. I was making my rounds looking for the Home Depot truck. They're in a little truck and they're they're beating me up the driveway. I'm trying to catch up. Now they don't know where to go. All right, Home Depot and Lowe's have done the thing. Guys, ordering from two places is the only way I could get my stuff by the time I needed it. Um, we've got landscape timbers. We've got some weed barrier. And then there's some little staples to hold that in the ground. And 60 bags. 60 bags of mulch. And what I'm doing with that today is I'm going to be working right in here, right in this corner. We all talked about things that would make this corner look pretty. I don't really have to worry about it much anymore because I'm putting a ginormous mulch bed right here. Ginormous spot of mulch for the kids' playground to sit on. It's going to be really nice, I think. I have got a little border laid down here and this is not perfect guys it's not set in stone I've got to get some rebar drill some holes in this and put some rebar through it to hold them all in place otherwise when I I can dump my mulch in like this but every time someone steps on it or tries to go in it's gonna roll around so I've got to reinforce this it's not perfect right now but I've got a general shape so I know how to cut all my weed barrier Oh yeah, this is all for planting. I'm not planting. That doesn't matter. All right, I'm starting with my, I thought this was uh, gonna be more plasticky, but it's more like a cloth. So I feel like it's gonna be real easy to work with. And I even remembered to get my little staples at the store to hold it in place. Look at me go. And when I get a couple, look, that'll be good. Right here, it's not going anywhere. And then, well, boop. 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 It wasn't so bad. Uh, we got the first little section down here with no problems except right here at the end where my fence runs at a huge angle and I didn't cut it long enough but we'll just go back with another little piece running that way no big deal Yeah, and I'm gonna take my side over here. I'm gonna take my side over here. Perfect! Alright, stop. Hold that first, stick it in. No, don't sit on it yet. 
it. We gotta fix it. Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Ow, you pulled my thigh. I'm sorry. All right, we've got all the weed beer. You're done. We're looking a little wonky here on the oh, here on the it. ends. It doesn't matter that, though, because we're gonna pour mulch on it. Mama, all that, that mulch. That. I think it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Scratch that, guys. I am leaving it just like this, all plasticed in and uh, or cloth or weed beer geared in, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna leave it like this, let them install the playground, and then after the playground's there, we'll do the mulch. So that's the end of this one. See y'all in the next one.